have 13 active RCS deployments in Asia PAC, uh, the United States, and in, um, in Europe as well. Uh, we have 37% market share on RCS, uh, which stands for Rich Communication Services. And we have 495 million subscribers uh, sold locally. Uh, you will be seeing uh, some, some, some announcements in the near future uh, about RCS. So uh, coming this summer, there will be a multiple uh, amount of launches across Europe, um, driven primarily by some announcement of Google that was made just the day before yesterday, where they will activate the OTT application and that will be counteracted by the operators uh, by launching their own services. Um, what have we seen? Uh, traditionally, we come from, RC from SMS, which was plain text. Uh, later on, it was enhanced by putting a URL in and then you could branch out to a URL. Uh, that is no longer the case. Uh, so customers are using the web to find information before calling the contact center. So they're not calling the contact center anymore. They, they are well informed before they call the contact center. So the, the level of expertise uh, that is uh, assumed in, when they are making a call is that they, are, they, they expect higher. They don't expect a 20-year-old anymore. They expect well-known, well-informed customer care agents that really can help them with their, uh, with their systems. Um, also, the uh, uh, IVRs that you end up, uh, automated telephone systems where you just, uh, at the end of the line, uh, after 20 minutes when you answered your customer number, your telephone number, or your other, whatever numbers that you found during, uh, over the course of the 10 minutes that you were in the menu, uh, and then at the end, uh, the announcement like, uh, I'm sorry, we're kind of busy, please call back later, and they hung up, that's no longer acceptable. Um, so. This was done, a recent survey was done by OVM, and so everyone wants to, they, they want to increase uh, the easier access to digital support channels. So they, they want to get more done themselves, customers, and they want to get, uh, and in the end, they want to get faster access to live support. So not end up in endless loops and that you, that you can branch out. So what is then the guidelines? Uh, probably this is a repetition of what's been told this, this day, past two days, is that it's, all the focus is on easy. You have to be easy to self-support. Uh, self-support is key. Uh, so if you can do it yourself, that's, that's predominantly preferred. They want to avoid calling. They, that is really the last resort. Um, deflection. So sorry, I can't help you, go to another agent being transferred uh, with all the hassle that has been discussed before. Uh, sorry, we're missing the context. Uh, you have to repeat all everything over and over again. That's probably also uh, not, uh, not to be done. Uh, chat, you'll see these chat boxes popping up all of a sudden now uh, in, on web pages. Uh, but it, it's time consuming. There's no instant messaging. You just type something in the chat and then you have to wait until there is a response. But probably the customer, the consumer or, or the agent has different uh, deflections themselves. So it's, it's kind of an ad, more of an ad hoc inter, interaction. Um, so what they prefer is, is messaging. Uh, talking is, is out. My kids don't talk anymore. If they, uh, they, 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 just, they just do text. They, they're just messaging. That's, that's key. Uh, it combines the, the, the speed. So they, they want direct response and they want, uh, uh, and, and it's the inconvenience of not physically talking so, to someone so that you can really think about something and not in a, in a direct conversation. You have to have all the information at hand. There's no way to, to check things. So if, a custo if uh, an agent says, can you check this, then holding it, uh, my, my kids don't like it. If they're being held on the line, check uh, whatever is available there and then uh, come back after five minutes while the, the agent is still on the line. So this, this, this asynchronous thing is what they really prefer. So what is Rich Communications doing? It's the, um, it's the evolution of, of SMS. Like I said, SMS is now, it is kind of um, uh, text, plain text. So what they want is they want full multimedia. So they want pictures, they want uh, sounds, they want everything. 
uh, built into the device, so not yet another application. So it's an it's it's a single native app that is going to that they want to support, um, and it work and it has to work with with everyone else. So it it works with your friends, your your family, and with uh, with the occasional odd person that you need to talk to. There has to be a fallback to SMS, and it has RCS is designed. By, by uh, with the with the businesses in mind, so it's not fully it's not a direct it's not only a replacement of of, uh, of WhatsApp or or WeChat, but it's more like it's it's also focused towards the business users so that they can use it for multiple use cases, like for instance account uh, keeping in touch with their accounts, doing troubleshooting, doing healthcare, doing everything where you need. Uh, messaging or pictures or payments or, or uh, access QR codes. You can send QR codes to the, to the app that you can scan directly uh, and get access to a venue or whatever. It's already here. Uh, it's rolled out, it's native. Samsung has it, Android has it. The only one who doesn't have it um, is, uh, is Apple. Uh, so no one knows what Apple is going to do or will be doing. Um, so that's that's really really a secret. So it's unfortunately it's only uh, available for Apple, but in some countries like in Sweden or the UK, that's uh, that's half of it, of the people. In other countries like uh, like uh, Greece, for instance, it's only 10% of the people that have an Android iPhone. So in that those areas, it's not really relevant uh, because the vast majority is Android. And it's a um, what is uh, what. Um, one of the uh, big uh, uh, supporters of, uh, of, of uh, RCS is uh, Petja Heimbach from, uh, from Deutsche Telekom. He considers this to be the, the change from SMS to RCS as the similar change from uh, going from, uh, from black t and white TV to color TV. Because it's not only text anymore, it's just going into full multimedia support. So. What do brands value on a uh, on, on on a messaging channel? Uh, they value the, the the reach. So SMS, you can reach anyone in the world with a, with a mobile phone. Uh, it's it's open. Everyone has it. My 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 mother-in-law has it. My daughters have it. My friends and family have it. My colleagues have it. It's it's a fully open ecosystem. Um, the pricing is kind of is uh, is predictable. Uh, it's easy. Uh, in the U.S., it's been um, it's been one uh, uh, all you can eat for as long as I re can remember. In the uh, so in the U in Europe, it has been predominantly uh, what is it, ten twenty five cents a message. So that's relatively easy, not uh, re relatively predictable, but not very good for business. Um, security. It's an uh, it's a secure channel. The only one who looks at uh, the, the, the channel is the operator, uh, and in general, the operator is more trusted than any other device, uh, like the, or the likes of Google or whatever. What is um, what does SMS not have? It's easy onboarding. It's you you have it. But if you want to be a, if you have a brand and you want to contact your customers via SMS, that's not that's not that easy. We've seen um, uh, the systems that we are delivering to the oper to the likes of KPN is being uh, enhanced. Uh, the APIs that we are exposing are being enhanced by the likes of uh, another uh, API supplier, and then it's being uh, broadcasted or made available in. Uh, in, for instance, the KPN API store. So our APIs are being converted to another API, and then they're uh, being uh, listed in the API store of KPN. So already you have two or three APIs on top of each other. So for them, that's not an easy thing to do. You have a lot of, uh, of, of parties in the, in the value chain, so that makes it relatively more difficult to, uh, to just directly exit. It's not rich, it's, it's just plain text. Uh, there is no control over the user interaction. Uh, that everything is free text. Everything you get back is free text, uh, so that you have to interpret that. Um, there is no. Uh, it was invented back in 1992, I believe, 
from the top of my head. So there were, everyone was uh, very naive and things like spam and, and harassments, there was no, not there. There was, uh, there was no problem at that moment. So over time, you, we've seen another, an, a number of, uh, of stuff that was introduced, a number of, of spam control filters that were introduced to fight this spam and to fight other um, fraudulent things, but it's, it doesn't, it's not uh, included in the product itself. Um, analytics, well, there's no, you can't see anything that also has to, it's not embedded in the product. It has to be uh, uh, built on top of it with other systems, which makes it more difficult. RCS has all of that included. So there has been a, a, a lot of effort being put into various uh, parties to make that an, a, a system that is more easier to, to be used by brands and more flexible and more easier to be managed by operators or parties that offer the service. Um, what does it do? So this, this is kind of a, uh, an overview, what you can see. So you can see in, uh, it, it, a lot of the things are common uh, in, in, in messaging at the moment. So WhatsApp, uh, Facebook Messenger, they all have the is typing, the delivery. Uh, you can send, over RCS now, you can send QR codes, so pictures. You can send uh, content built into the messaging app, uh, what you s in, into the, uh, to the delivery mes message that you send. You can send video, you can send images, you can, send, you can use interactive buttons, uh, you can s use pictures with carousels that you can swipe through, that you can have multiple amount of things. And you can have these action buttons and the brand identity, not uh, to be forgotten, the brand identity can be verified so that you know for sure that you are actually talking to KLM uh, if you're doing a booking and th so that when you, enter, when you come into the airport that you really can go onto that plane and that you're not lost your money and um, you're still at the airport. Um, interactive buttons, so what you can do with that is you can steer the, opera, the, the, the customer to provide you uh, with, with, uh, into a certain direction. So it's, it's, uh, is, is, the, is the picture black or is it white? You can say, uh, you can give them the, the, you can say it's black or it's white. If, especially in countries where you have multiple uh, languages, uh, like Belgium, where you have at least three. Um, and then on top of it, you have, uh, you have English, so you have four, so that, that makes it much more easy to, to steer customers in a particular way, instead of interpreting everything they say. Uh, is this right? Is it wrong? Is it okay or not okay? Uh, and then all of the abbreviations. So how have, been doing, how have we been doing so far? Um, RCS in uh, Q1. We started at 30 million messages. Uh, so that was the early days when uh, this is predominantly where it, that it was launched in the UK, in the in the US uh, and in uh, Germ in Germany it was also used not very extensively but it was used. Um, quarter nine 2019 already 67 mobile operators have used it and we're at 257. The middle of uh, uh, this year, we expect 90 live networks. Uh, this will probably increase due to the announcement that Google did. So they will be rolling out in the, uh, uh, in, in the, the, the later part of 2019, so the second half of 2019. They will launch it uh, across Europe and across South America, uh, South America. So we will be going quite fast to a number of uh, live networks and going to 831. So that puts us uh, in, the, in the reach that you have uh, already above Snapchat, above Skype, and above QQ Mobile. Uh, slightly below WeChat, but we uh, still WhatsApp and Facebook Messenger are within reach. If you compare that to the reach of uh, SMS nowadays, we are at uh, 4,000. So that's still a long way to go, but every effort that we're, that's currently done in the industry um, is, is focused on getting that reach, getting it rolled out as soon as possible and getting that global reach to match SMS. So uh, to av also to avoid the, uh, the MMS uh, rollout disaster where we had islands of MMS and no one could talk to each other. So if my friend was in another network, there was no way I could send a picture to him. So 
this is all about community. How the bigger the community, winner takes all. Everything. Yeah. And also in, in iPhone, obviously, it's not the traditional SMS, you get the iMessage. Which is you get iMessage, but then the fallback is to SMS. That's yeah. included. Yeah. Yeah. If you, if you do on an iPhone, if you do an iPhone to iPhone, it just goes to over I, I, iMessage. Uh, if one of the others is on another device, it just falls back to SMS. So, so your growth is really driven by the Android device adoption? Yes. Yes, everything. everything. So, I um, think I had this. This one is double. So, but it's yeah, it's still it's it's catching up quite fast. That's the main message. So, how is this done? Uh, RCS is a is a messaging engine, uh, like here. There is SMS, is an old, and, and you have other messaging assets. And then uh, in the operator network, there is the uh, messaging as a platform, which is the, uh, the outside API exposure layer. So it extracts the, the network complex, complexity by means of REST API. So all of the APIs northbound to aggregators, to brands, to enablers, they're all REST-based APIs and fully standardized by, uh, by uh, the operator community. So that Whenever you, whenever vendor is here, uh, it could be Mavenir, could be OpenMind, could be anyone else uh, uh, competitor. They, we all are exposing the same APIs. So for a developer or uh, an aggregate or an API party that wants to use this in another API set that they're exposing, this is very easy to uh, to develop. Um, it, it, the what we expect. Is that we expect that a lot of the op of the of the aggregators and of the chatbot developers will use, um, or of the API users will use chatbots, so very extensively. We already had uh, a bunch of chatbots, uh, which was working quite fast. We had uh, com uh, companies and, and partners that had chatbots uh, on Facebook Messenger, and they were able to convert their chatbot to talk to a, a MAP platform, to an RCS delivery mechanism within three days. They had the same, exactly the same uh, user feel what they have on Facebook Messenger. They had that replicated in MAP. So that, that makes it, so the REST API that is exposed is extremely easy for a, 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 a developer to, to use. And within two weeks they had uh, the first enhancements in, they used uh, uh, swiping carousels, they used all kinds of new features that, uh, that were enabled. And so do, you, do you see, like you, you mentioned in the previous uh, graph, you had still WhatsApp higher usage than RCS. But can you compare, if you were to only look at the Android users, mm -hmm. do they still prefer WhatsApp because of their, or do they actually start falling? To we don't, we, it, it depends on the market, because in the, in the US, there is no WhatsApp market. WhatsApp penetration is, is about 10%. So in, in Spain, where WhatsApp penetration is about 90%, this will be a, a, another channel, what they can use. Uh, what, we, what, we, what I also expect is that the aggregators will use this as yet another channel. So they will, uh, which will be driven by price, which will be driven by reach, uh, which will be driven by functionality. So this RCS application is available on every Android phone even the ones that do not have WhatsApp installed. Uh, if they, so th they could just tailor it and say, we'll do a first, uh, first burst on WhatsApp. If we get responses back of people do, who do not have WhatsApp or they don't react very well, we use other alternative channels. We use uh, uh, Apple Business Chat, we use Facebook Messenger. They can just use and pick and choose anything they like. So. Yes. So, have you looked at how to apply analytics in the context of all these emojis and whether you can really analyze it? That is not, 
th that is all within the aggregators and yes. and the other. We are the we are uh, a company that delivers the, the the plumbing, basically, and all the added value is done by uh, the people that support that provide uh, NLP AI, and that's all that all will be built in the uh, in the chatbots, uh, and they can do all of this stuff. The, the, the stuff that we've seen with uh, one of the previous presenters, the Convergis or, or the 365, all the neat things, they can al already do that. They can al already do that. So we're not reinventing the wheel here. We're just saying, well, you need an access method. Uh, you can, or you can just, and this is uh, pretty open. It's on a trusted environment. Uh, the alternative is that you use, uh, for instance, if I am start ordering a car over WhatsApp or I'm communicating with a, with, with one of my car dealers and I uh, just want to buy a Toyota, do I do that on WhatsApp? How big are the chances that I get, um, all of a sudden I get messages from or, or uh, advertisements from uh, Mercedes-Benz on, on, on a different SUV? We don't know. This is a, a, an operator channel that is more trusted by, by people than, than Google or WhatsApp it's, or Facebook then in that case. So. Um, it just, th this is what it says, it just provides access to third party enablers. So they can do with it any way they like. It's just opening the floor to a much richer development. So, you, yeah. would, you, would you like your bank to send you the two factor authentication uh, by a Google email? Don't know. Yeah? Oh, you keep the track. Oh, okay. I'm almost done. So, um, so we're in the middle. Uh, so this is the, bi the business messaging solution that we sell to the to the likes of uh, of KPN, Telefonica, Deutsche Telekom, British Telecom, Spanish Telecom, whatever. Um, the aggregators are behind, and the bots are on the right hand side. And over here is just the delivery mechanism. So um, since there is a lot of uh, problems in in identifying use cases. We are not the company that, that goes to an operator and says, here you have a ton of uh, use cases, and here we have the solution, and um, this is it, and then buy our product and make yourself rich. So what we have been doing is we have been partnering with a lot of, uh, uh, of, of parties. Uh, so three, uh, these are all the usual aggregators that you see around the globe. Throws 3CI, MessageBird, uh, Xmedia, Tintec, Twilio, they all partner with us. They all partner. They all have done uh, trials with us, or they are being uh, actively on the platform that we have been uh, uh, selling to uh, U.S. operators or European or Asia-Pac operators. So all of these parties have um, their particular niche, even. So, uh, we have been working with a uh, specifics, specific partner in if you want to do um, account management or, or, or customer care or self-service. Uh, we have one particular partner that we are trying to push. Um, we are, if, uh, w what we do with those parties is we, we, say, we certify them. We say, okay, your platform works seamlessly with our platform. We train them, we support them. We have a sandbox in, uh, in Dallas, so they connect to the sandbox. They can uh, do their trials in a, in a fully secure environment, uh, and they can see what the look and feel, if it works as expected, and um, you're free to use it uh, any way you like. That's it. I was supposed to introduce you. I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> filling in for Rob. Uh, sorry, I um, I was asked to fill in for the uh, for the moderation. Yes, please go ahead. Um, question on the, the uptake of uh, RCS. So even though it's available, you, you make a statement that it's available now on Android. Yes. But then my phone does the RCS premium software. So you still with it Android. does. It does. It is called uh, Android Messenger. Well, yeah. it's, and it's the same app as it, that is used for SMS. Okay. Well, okay. Well, the point is, even though I'm a protagonist for RCS, I still have the feeling that it's less used than many other uh, messaging services because of the fact that it's not installed 
pre-installed or available for whatever reason, it might be unknown to, to users, so it's less used than various other uh, messaging services. And it's still, correct me if I'm wrong, you still have the dependency that the operator supports it. Yes. Like WhatsApp, there's no dependency whatsoever. All you need is a, well, of course, you need, you need to be able to, to install or download all your Android uh, operating system. And you need to have the package switch connectivity. But other than that, you're not dependent on the operator to just support it. Um, what, what will happen is that uh, Google will roll it out. Uh, over, they will activate the RCS capability in your Android Messenger um, over, the, over 20, 2019 in Europe. So you will get it. Uh, even though you don't know it, you will get it. Uh, if, the op if your home operator will support it, it will be using the operator's network. If you, if, otherwise, it will be using the Google network. What it does, it, it, if you're trying to send a text, if, you, if you're not sending any text messages, no, no, never any SMS, you will continue using your WhatsApp application. So there's no problem there. But what it will enable you is for uh, pop brands to connect to you, to send you messages. So the channel is there. Even if you don't know it, it's, being, it, it, it's natively uh, available. With every, every month you get an update of Android messages with new functionality. Functionality is already there uh, for for since uh, messages four dot three dot nine. So and then gradually they will start activating and they will start uh, applying configuration over the course of 2019. So I'm not sure from which country you are, but it will happen uh, mm. uh, in the US. Oh, sorry, in the UK and in France, uh, it is being launched. It was launched um, 6 p.m. Uh, on the 17th of this month, which is two days ago. Uh, so they will be getting, gradually, they will, they will wrap it up in, in phases. So Google will start uh, using it, and your operator will launch it pro probably also in a very silent mode uh, somewhere, whenever they feel like it. Okay. Well, thank you, Ralph, and, I, uh, and we're a little bit over time, so I apologize for that. Uh,